The WA-475-10 is the first model of a new family of Komatsu wheel loaders. Once again, Komatsu has made significant improvements to machine systems for improved safety, high productivity, efficiency, operator information, and convenience. Today we are going to take a detailed look at those enhancements on our Tier 4 Final WA-475-10 wheel loader. The wheel loader monitor group is very nicely laid out for good visibility and ease of understanding. Let's break the monitor assembly down into three main parts and examine how those parts communicate with the operator. Centered on the top are the warning and the pilot lamps. To the right side is the speedometer tachometer, and to the left is the monitor display. Looking at the warning and pilot lamps, we can see that there are seven lamps. Starting on the left, we have the centralized warning light, which lights up red and the audible buzzer sounds when the machine is in any of the following conditions. Action level L02, L03, or L04 are displayed on the monitor. The engine overrun caution lamp is lit, the brake oil pressure is below a set threshold while the engine is running. The starting switch is turned on when the directional lever or directional selector switch is in any position other than neutral. When all signals from the directional lever or directional selector switch are turned off, when the directional selector switch is not in neutral and the parking brake is applied, or when you change the travel direction while the travel speed is high. Another lamp is the parking brake pilot lamp, which lights up when the parking brake is applied. The left turn signal pilot lamp flashes when the turn signal lever is moved up. The front high beam pilot lamp lights up when the high beam headlights are activated by the lamp switch. The right turn signal pilot lamp flashes when the turn signal lever is moved down. The brake oil pressure caution lamp warns the operator that the brake oil pressure is below the specified value. And finally, the clearance lamp pilot lamp lights up when the clearance lamps are turned on using the lamp switch on the steering column right side. The speedometer and tachometer work together in the round part of the machine monitor. The tachometer is a digital gauge design ranged from 0 to 3500 RPM in 100 RPM increments. During certain key on functions such as manual preheating, this meter unit may reboot. With the pointer of the tachometer making one full swing from 0 to 3500 and back again, this is normal. The speedometer is displayed in the LCD window within the tachometer gauge and can be programmed to display either kilometers per hour or miles per hour. The range of this gauge is 0 to 99 kilometers per hour. During certain key on functions, the gauge may reboot with the numbers temporarily displaying 88. This is normal. The monitor display may be considered the primary focus of the monitor gauge group. On the WA-475-10, the monitor has a new layout. This color graphic display is very powerful and provides the operator many levels of important information. Let's focus on the four standard gauges, one in each corner of the display. The gauges are digitally created on the high definition LCD monitor. The gauge in the upper left corner reports the engine coolant temperature and the display range is 30 to 105 Celsius. The gauge in the lower left corner reports the transmission oil temperature and the display range is 0 to 120 Celsius. The gauge in the upper right corner reports the hydraulic oil temperature and the display range is 20 to 100 Celsius for hydraulic oil temperature and negative 10 to 110 Celsius for HST oil temperature. This gauge will display whichever oil temperature is higher. The gauge in the lower right reports brake oil temperature and the display range is 50 to 130 Celsius. The eco gauge, which shows the instantaneous fuel consumption, has been moved and is now just above the bottom center of the monitor screen. We define the instantaneous fuel consumption rate as the fuel consumption rate at that moment. This is calculated based on average every 3 seconds and displayed over 10 levels, 17 to 43 liters an hour. This whole gauge can be turned on or off. The gauge itself has two parts. The bottom bar is green on the left and yellow at the right. This indicates the target fuel consumption rate. The floating step gauge changes as the operator uses the machine. The heavier the use of the accelerator, the higher the bars. The fuel gauge has been relocated to the right center of the monitor and has eight segments that are green to match the fuel level. The display range is 33 to 282 liters, 8.7 to 75 gallons. At 42 liters, 11.1 .1 gallons are below. The fuel level caution lamp lights up the diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF, has a level gauge that has been moved to the left corner of the monitor. The DEF gauge has nine blue segments to match the DEF level, 0 to 100%. The red zone starts at 10% level and is considered the critical refill range. 
By far the most noticeable change to the color monitor is the addition of the travel speed control dial gauge. This gauge is centered in the monitor and has 18 segments. The number of blue segments displayed relate to the physical position of the travel speed control dial, which is mounted in the right-hand console. With standard 26.5 to 25 tires installed, the forward travel speed range is 3 to 38 kilometers an hour, or 1.8 to 23.6 miles per hour. In reverse, the speed range is 3 to 28 kilometers an hour, or 1.8 to 17.4 miles per hour. In reverse, even if the travel speed control dial is turned fully clockwise, the last three segments do not light up blue. Centered under the speed gauge is the shift lever position display. This display will indicate F, R, N, R, R. Slightly to the right of the speed gauge is the traction level display. This will indicate what level of traction control is chosen using the traction control switch on the switch panel. There are four levels of traction control. Level one is low draw bar pull for working in slippery underfoot conditions. There is a level two, level three, and max. At the top right of the monitor display is the seat belt warning lamp. This lamp is lit if the key switch is in the on position and the operator has not fastened the seat belt. The alarm buzzer does not sound during this event. At the bottom of the monitor display, there are two meters. These are user programmable. The left meter can be programmed to display service meter reading or SMR in hours, odometer reading, or clock time in 12 or 24 hour format. SMR is the default. For the right meter, the choices are average fuel consumption, which is the default, SMR hours, odometer, or clock time. Finally, the temperature setting display has been relocated to the bottom center of the color monitor. Thank you for taking some time to learn about Komatsu's WA475-10 wheel loader. Please reach out to your local Komatsu distributor for more information on this exciting new model.